Hello, uh, welcome to my channel, uh, Clever Husky. And today I'm going to create this or teach you how to create this uh, poster. And as you can see here, this is a uh, health related poster, specifically COVID uh, related poster. And this is very timely uh, for hospitals if they want to advertise, let's say, through social media or, or even a hard copy of these posters, they can easily do this by just using your PowerPoint. You don't need Photoshop's or under any other softwares, PowerPoint will do. So, before we start, if you like this video, if you like if you're going if you like this video, if you like the content that I'm making, the all the uh, PowerPoint related contents, please do hit like and subscribe for the channels and also please comment so that I will know how to improve my future videos and as well as your suggestions on our next content. So now what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to create new slide. And then I'm going to start show show you how are we going to create this one. So first, insert shape. Okay, we have this shape now. I'm just going to transfer this one. This is the colors that we're going to use. So I prepared this one. So for example, on this part, what we need to do here is just shape heal. I'll click eye trapper and then this shapes with this shape will now turn into gray. No outline. And then next is this picture of the nurse. So we're just going to copy this one. There are a lot of websites that's, that offers um, free images. So I might uh, make a video about those websites so that you will know where to get free high definition images for your projects. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to create the shape right here. So this is very easy as well. Just click insert, click shapes, and then click this. Click this shape. And then what we will do here is that we're just going to adjust this one. It will be based on your preferred size, uh, preferred size I think I'm okay with it now and then we're going to click or create another shape just like this one so this is the trick here so what we want or what we want to do is to cut the shape so that it will turn into this one so the trick here is that click on the first shape and then the second shape that you created, click on shape format, click on merge shapes, click on subtract. So as you can see, we cut the other side or the other uh the the left side of the shape that is outside of the slide so this is to make your presentation much more appealing although if you're going to save this one let's say as a jpeg those excess shape will not appear but if you want to have your uh, images more clear you might as well save it as png and when you save it as a png what will happen is that those shapes that out that is outside 
the uh, the slides will be shown so it will not look good so again we're, we're going to okay again i what i did is that i subtract i subtract i subtract again so that we were able to get rid of the excess shape so now shape fill click on the green so we have this one next for the other one we're just going to copy it click on the color this is this this um same shade of blue and then again we're going to insert another shape shape format merge shapes and then subtract and just like that we have this one so we're just going to adjust this Okay, just like that. Now, the next step is to create this part. So this would be very easy. Just click on your shapes and then your rectangle. Place it here. Again, shape fill, click green, no outline, and then copy it. Shape fill, click the uh, color, color blue, then align it with this. Just going to do some adjustments here. Okay, that is good. So the next step is to uh, put these icons here. Again, there are a lot of, oh, there are so many websites that, that offers vector images and images like this. In doing these kind of, of images or, or, present, or even your, in your presentations, it is far more impressive or of, of, of far more uh, attractive if you use icons with transparent background. So there are images that is available on the internet that is already um, has transparent background, but there are also steps to be able to have the picture background become transparent. So there are softwares like Photoshop, and I might create a video for that, but so far, uh, what I'm going to do here is just, is just that it's just I'm going to copy these uh, flat icons here. Okay. It's going to. Uh, Copy this one and then paste it here. And as well as the text as well. Uh, it's easy to type this one. Um, I just use the Lorem Ipsum. This is com this is usually used for mockups. And by the way, my font, the font style, the font that I use here is Railway. And I think Railway and Tacoma. And there are also uh, websites that are um, offering free downloads of fonts. Like I think that was, uh, I think 101 fonts. Uh, just click, just uh, search on your Google and 
you can download this free apps as well. Free or rather free funds. So again, we're going to copy this one. Even this one. Oops. Just, we're just going to copy this all. Copy all of these things, even the icon. So right here. For this telephone icon, by the way, this one. For you to have this, just click on insert, click on icons. And if you are connected to the internet, just click on the icon that you want to use for your presentation. So for example, uh, telephone. So here it is. You can change its color. So originally it was black. You can change its color to green. Um, there is also a chat icon here. And then this one is for uh, a medical icon. So just click on, for example, chat icon. So this is the same icon here. I just change it to color green. So for those flat icons, you can find it here in your PowerPoint, just click on insert image, then icons. But uh, for icons just uh, such as this, that is not available in your PowerPoint, there are a lot of websites that is offering free downloads of these images. But you just need to accredit the artist. Okay, next, just copy. We're just going to copy this one. Since this is just a uh, plain text. So it depends on your judgment on how you put this, uh, this, uh, these sentences and paragraphs in your poster in such a way that it will be easily understood will be easy to understand but at the same time it will look good on your design okay it's done so in the full screen mode that's how you do it so it's very easy you just need to know how to insert image, insert shapes and then cut it on your desired shape by using your uh, merge shape. Okay, this one shape format, merge shapes. If you know how to use this one, it will be very uh, useful for your future presentations. Especially if you are doing a lot of presentation in PowerPoint, you can easily design your slides and even create brochures and posters like this. So again, if you like this video, please subscribe. And every week we're going to create um, different contents, tutorials like this, and also PowerPoint games, which is also um, uh, very useful, especially now, if you want to have a PowerPoint games via Zoom, you can use those PowerPoint presentations. So, uh, again, thank you very much. See you next time.